Now we're testing Vladimir Putin's guard, sniper rifle. Leaders of the world are protected by the best snipers of their country, and Russia is no exception to that. In this episode, we will test a DXL-3. It's Russian-made sniper rifle. It's made by Lubayev Arms Corporation, specially for some of Vladimir Putin's snipers. So, this is an aluminum-made construction that withstands even extreme weather conditions of Russia. It's got bold action system and a really smooth trigger mechanism. I'm not sure, guys, that you will be able to hear or feel that, but trust me, it's amazing and I love that. Just take a listen. It's really short and smooth, I love that. Beside that, it's got a really long and heavy barrel. It makes this gun about 7.5 kilograms. It's really heavy, you won't be able to run all day long with it, but I'm not sure that you will spend all your days in force running with this gun. So how powerful this gun is and how far it can destroy its targets, we will see today at our shooting range. And now we're gonna give it a Russian style test and we're gonna see whether or not it's gonna destroy this thing. We're going to load our sniper rifle with three rounds. Two of them will be armor piercing rounds and the third one will be a classic 338 round. And for our third shot, we place the rail on side to hit the top of it. We're gonna see how deep armor piercing round is gonna go. Here we got the results of our experiment. As you can see, this is the result of shooting a train rail with a classic round. It didn't come through, it just hit it and splashed it and smashed on it. But the strike force of the bullet even destroyed the back of it. That's interesting, but what I liked, that our armor piercing bullet came through, it penetrated about two centimeters of a real steel and the top of the bullet came through, but the core of it stayed inside. And talking about the top of it, well, just take a look. It came about a centimeter deep, and the bullet stayed inside, it didn't come out. 